สถิตมหาสีบารามเทมโพแอนบวรนิเวศวิหารเทมโพอินแบงคอก This is the final part of the royal cremation ceremony of His Majesty the late King Rama the Ninth, being held between the 25th and the 29th of October 2017. This evening, the sixth procession of honor will take place, and the procession will be formed at p r a s i r a t a n a j e d i in the Temple of the Emerald Buddha. The first route will take to the first destination at Wat r a j a b h i t Sathit Mahasima Ram, and following that. The second destination at Wat b a w a n i w e t Vihan. I'm Rung Thip Chon Nepal. I will be your narrator for today, as well as Dr. Yong Yut. And um, this is the fifth day, which is the last day of the altogether five days cremation ceremony of the late King p u m i p o n a d u n y a d e The first day was Wednesday, October 25th. Which was the royal merit-making ceremony in preparation for moving the royal urn to the royal crematorium at s a n a m l u o n g ceremonial ground. The second day, which was October 26, that to move the royal urn from the s i t m a h a p a s a d throne hall to the royal crematorium, followed by the um, actual um, cremation ceremony. Then Friday, October 27th. Which was the ceremony for collecting the royal relics and royal ashes at the Temple of Emerald Buddha and also the s i t m a h a p a s a d Throne Hall? Yesterday, the royal merit-making ceremony of the royal relics of the late His Majesty King p u m i p o n here at the s i t m a h a p a s a d Throne Hall, and uh, this is the last day, Dr. Yong Yut. That's right. So, in any moment now, the ceremony will begin from the South Thai s a m a k o m Pavilion, which is near to the p r a s i r a t a n a j e d i or the stupa, the main stupa in the Temple of the Emerald Buddha. His Majesty the King will preside over the ceremony, and after the conveying of the royal ashes to the royal car, the procession will be led by the 29th Cavalry Squadron Royal Horse Guard. Led by Her Royal Highness Princess Sri p a n w a r i n a r i r a t as the commanding officer of the cavalry squadron, to lead the procession to the r a j a b o p i t s a t i t Mahasimaram Temple, which is a royal temple of the first grade built in the reign of King Rama V. After royal merit-making ceremony at that temple, together with the enshrinement of the royal ashes at the area just below the base of the Buddha. Image the principal Buddha image of the ordination hall of the temple. Then the procession will continue to the second destination, which is b o w a n i w e t Vihan Temple, a royal temple of the first grade built in the reign of King Rama the third. The time in Bangkok now is 5:30 p.m. That you can see that the sun is setting with the beautiful and pictures view of the Grand Palace here. Just right next to s a n a m l u o n g ceremonial ground, where the royal crematorium of the late king is located. After the His Majesty the King p u m i p o n pass away, um, around 12 million people have they made their way, waited in line, in long queue, to pay respect to. The royal urn at the s i t m a h a p a s a d Throne Hall, and on the October 26, around 19 million people placed the sandalwood flower to bid farewell to the late king. The royal motorcade of His Majesty King m a h a w a c h a l a l u n g k o n b a d i n t r a t e p a y a w a r a n g k u n is now approaching the Grand Palace. And the royal motorcade will enter the Grand Palace via the w i s h e t w i s h e t Chai Si Gate. You can see the wall of the Grand Palace, which encompassing the Temple of the Emerald Buddha as well. The Temple of the Emerald Buddha is a sacred symbol of the r a t a n a k o s i n of Bangkok period, the most important temple in realm, built by King Rama the First. The founder of the Chakri Dynasty, at the same time as the Grand Palace in 1782. Here's the 
bird's eye view of the Grand Palace. You can see the Temple of the Emerald Buddha on the left, Sa Thai Samakum Pavilion right in the middle there, and uh, further away in the back there is the Chakri Mahaprasad Throne Hall, and the Dusit Mahaprasad Throne Hall, which is where the royal urn of His Majesty the late King was uh, placed for over one over one year now. Yes, uh, over one until year. the royal cremation ceremony. Yes. Um, his Majesty the late King passed away peacefully at Sri Ras Hospital in October 13 at 15.52. And now here, this is the last day that you are witnessing. Now the royal motorcade of His Majesty King Mahavishalongkorn is arriving. The compound of the Grand Palace. You can see the back of the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, Wat Prasi Ratanasasada Ram, which is situated within the Grand Palace, sacred symbol of the Ratanakosin of Bangkok Dynasty. The temple is richly endowed with fine art and architecture. The Emerald Buddha image, Thailand's most revered Buddha image, is enshrined in the ordination hall of Prabhubosot, the exterior walls of which are covered with beautiful designs in gold leaf and glass, while the interior walls bear murals depicting the life of Buddha and other subjects. The Prasi Ratanajedi was built by King Rama IV in 1855 in the Sri Lankan style and the stupa enshrines relics of the Buddha brought from Sri Lanka. These are people who are the people from all walks of life carrying the pictures of um, the late king, their beloved, our beloved king, King Pumipon, who has been our heart and soul, these people came much earlier to wait to have space to be near their beloved the late King Pumipon. I believe this is near the area of what Bawani Wade, which will be the last stop, and um, Bawani Wade Temple is um, the royal temple of our beloved king, and this is um, near, just right opposite the the Grand Palace, right, Doctor Yun Yut. That's right. This is where the um, the procession will be passing. Passing. That's right. right. You can right. see the. Uh, city pillars shrine just in the back there. Mm -hmm. To the right is the old building of the Ministry of Defense uh, with the ancient cannons. Right. Two of them placed just in, in front. When we mentioned to you earlier that um, the king, the late king Pumipon, is the king Rama the Ninth of the Jagri dynasty. Chakri dynasty was founded by King Rama the first Paputayarfa Julalok. He ruled the country for twenty eight years. Later on we had the King Rama the second up until King Rama the fifth. The King Rama the Fifth, the other name is King Jolongkorn, the benevolent monarch. During his reign for of 42 years, many changes and reforms were made in Thailand. And um, we every year we have Jakri Day, which is April the 6th. That marks the anniversary of the founding of the present Jakri dynasty of which the present ruling monarch. This is, I believe, that um, the way, showing the way where 
um, the perceptions will be passing. That's right. This is the uh, route going to the second destination, which will pass the democracy monument. Early on, we've seen some of the members of the general public holding pictures yes. of His Majesty the late King uh, as when he was a monk a um, long time ago. In fact, His Majesty the late King Rama the Ninth was ordained as a monk, and he stayed at the Bowaniwet Bihan Temple for 15 days during his ordination period. At that time, Her Majesty Queen Surakit of the Ninth Reign was the uh, acting as the regent, uh, representing His Majesty during that period of time. And um, when he was um, ordained as a monk, the previous Supreme Patriot was um, his mentor. That's right. And um, that's maybe able to explain to you why that um, Bawani Vihan Temple is um, where his royal ashes will be kept and maintained. Talking about Buddhism, Buddhism plays a significant role in our everyday life for Thai people. More than 90% of um, Thai people in the Kingdom of Thailand are Buddhism. In Buddhist doctrine, stresses the three principal aspects of existence, which is the first one is Tukka, that means suffering. The second one is Anicca, that means impermanence. And the last one is Anatta, which is non-substantiality. And if you listen to um, our venerable monks in the Dharma talks, especially yesterday, the venerable monk mentioned in the Dharma talk that um, he talk about nirvana. That's mm. also our belief, yes. because in Thailand, when we have the funeral or in the cremation ceremony, is the mixture between Buddhism, Hinduism, and also Brahmin, mm -hmm. and we sending our king, who we believe is um, a part of um, the god in Hindu, back to the celestial abode. Yes. That's why the design and the construction of the Royal Crematorium and all the um, accompanying structures are based on these ancient beliefs, which is a mix of um, Buddhism and Hinduism. And also a lot of um, the ceremony in Thailand, you see Brahmin um, practice and also here we are at um, back to the beginning of the procession. Mm -hmm. This is at the stupa, the main stupa in the temple of the Emerald Buddha. A court official is now carrying uh, two gold metallic bowls containing royal ashes of His Majesty, the late King Rama the Ninth, from the Praratana JD and placing them on the on a palanquin, the Wenfa palanquin, to be carried by eight bearers. They'll bring these receptacles to be placed in the royal car of His Majesty King Mahavachalongkorn, but in Tarate Payawarangkun. The royal ashes of His Majesty the late King had been enshrined at this stupa for the last two days since the transferring of the royal relics and the royal ashes from the royal crematorium at the Sanam Long Ceremony Ground on the 27th of October. The royal ashes of past kings have also been enshrined at various royal temples. King Rama I of the Chakri dynasty, his royal ashes were enshrined at Wat Prachetupon Temple, the King Rama II at Wat Arun Rajawararam or Mahaviharan Temple, or the Temple of Dawn, the King Rama III royal ashes at Rajo Rosa Ram Temple.
The golden metallic bowls containing the royal ashes are now being carried out past the back gate of the Temple of the Emerald Buddha towards the royal cars of His Majesty the King. One of the metallic bowls will be transferred to Rajapopit Sathit Mahasimaram Temple and the other one to Bon Nived Vihan Temple. His Majesty the King, accompanied by Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Srinthorn, Her Royal Highness Princess Pacharakityapa, will leave the Sathai Samakum to board the Royal Motorcade. There are also other members of the Royal Families here that you may see um, Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Srinthorn and Princess Ubonrat. Present here during the sixth procession. The route number one is to form this temple of the Emerald Buddha, going through Visay Chai Si Gate before passing Napalan Road and then go to Sanam Chai Road before arriving at Rajabopit. Yes, the motorcade will stop at the Royal Mounting Platform or Goy at the first destination at Wat Rajapopit. There, His Majesty the King and Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Srinthorn will present the golden metallic bow containing the royal ashes to the court officials to convey to the ordination hall of the temple. I have mentioned about royal ashes of past monarchs. As for the royal ashes of King Rama IV or King Mungkut, these are enshrined at Rajapradit Sathit Mahasima Ram Temple. For King Rama V, King Chulalongkorn, his royal ashes are being enshrined at Benjamabhit Temple. King Rama VI, are being enshrined, his royal ashes are being enshrined at the base of the main Buddha image, Praluang Rojanarit, at Pratum Jedi Temple in Nakhon Pratum Province. King Rama the Seventh at Wat Rajabopit Sathit Mahasimaram Temple, and King Rama the Eighth at Suthat Thevararam Temple in Bangkok. Officials are humbly presenting the two golden metallic bowls containing the royal ashes to His Majesty the King and Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Srinthorn. The Guards of Honor are preparing to pay salutation.
26 Royal Procession of Honor has begun. This is led by the Squadron Commander Officer of the 29th Cavalry Squadron, Royal Horse Guard. Her Royal Highness, Lieutenant Colonel Her Royal Highness Princess Sri Wanwari Narirat. The formation of the 6th Royal Procession of Honor comprises a police car leading the procession, a group of single booklers, squadron commanding officer of the 29th Cavalry Squadron Royal Horse Guard and accompanying officers, the cavalry squad conveying the colors, cavalry troop commander of the cavalry guards of honor leading the Royal Ashes, cavalry platoon leader, troops of the 29th Cavalry Squadron Royal Horse Guard, the royal car of His Majesty the King carrying the royal ashes of His Majesty the late King Rama the Ninth, accompanying police motorcycles, the royal car in reserve, accompanying vehicles of court officials, and then the cavalry troop commander of the cavalry guards of honor following the royal ashes and the troops of the 29th Cavalry Squadron Royal Horse Guard. In the royal motorcade, um, the His Majesty King and um, Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Sirin carrying the royal urn containing the royal ashes of um, the late His Majesty King Pumipot Adunyadeh. Now, the royal Mordecai's, um departed from the temple of the Emra Buddha, went through Visage Chai Si Gate and now passing Napalan Road going through Sanam Chai Road. This is just right beside the Sanam Luang ceremonial ground where the royal crematorium of um, the late King Pumipon is located. This is at the inter intersection right opposite the city main pillar, shrine and the temple of the Emerald Buddha. The 29th Cavalry Squadron Royal Horse Guard, as you can see, their uniform consists of silver helmet with somber blue plume, royal seal or parachalanyakon on the cap badge. They're wearing the somber blue flannel with two rows of gold buttons, collar and cuffs with red flannel background and gold embroidery, gold insignia with royal monogram of Papa Raw on their cuffs. As for the trousers, they are wearing the somber blue flannel with one yellow stripe and also gold insignia with the royal monogram Popora over their right breast pocket. Prior to being established as the 29th Cavalry Squadron, it used to be a company that used horses and this had evolved through time. During the reign of King Rama V, the king gave a royal directive to set a horse guard company within the regiment of the king's own bodyguards with Prabhupada Prong Chao Kaap Kanok Kanok Rat or Prince Kaap Kanok Rat as the commander of the company. Later, the company were elevated to the level of a battalion as was set up within the ground of the Grand Palace. It was, however, combined into a regiment of Royal Cavalry Squadron in 1887. In 1907, King Rama V bestowed the name of the 1st Cavalry Regiment, the King's Guard, with the Crown Prince, the then future King Rama VI, as the commander. The regiment underwent changes of its name and location with the eventual establishment in 1988, being at Sanam Pao area of Bangkok under the name of the 29th Cavalry Squadron to be under the command of the 2nd Cavalry Division. It was royally bestowed the status of the Royal Horse Guard of His Majesty the late King Rama IX on the 20th of January 1992. Since then, the troops of the 29th Cavalry Squadron are entitled to wearing the badge with the royal monograms of Papa Raw on their uniform at the level of their right breast. The present-day cavalry squadron has its main function of serving as ceremonial guards of honor during state and royal ceremonies, providing security protection for members of the royal family and promoting the sports of horse riding for Thai sportsmen and sportswomen and the general public. His Majesty the late King Pumipon Adunyadeh graciously bestowed the first flag of colors for the 29th 
Cavalry Squadron on the 8th of November 1991. His Majesty the late King Rama IX designated His Royal Highness Crown Prince Mahawachalalongkorn the royal status at the time of His Majesty King Mahawachalalongkorn but in Trathe Payawarangkun to present a new flag of colors to replace the old one that had been damaged with time on the 8th of November 2006. Lieutenant Colonel Her Royal Highness Princess Sri Wanwarinari Rat participating in this sixth procession of Omne had the rehearsal of the procession prior to this event. Her Royal Highness is the commander of the Cavalry Guards of Honor as well as being the commanding officer of the squadron. He's riding the horse named We Kalata, Her Royal Highness White Horse of Horsner Warm Blood Breed. We Kalata is a 170 centimeter tall mare aged 11 years from Germany. She's a highly trained jumping horse that is well controlled and has taken part in a number of equestrian sports competitions, winning many prizes in the category of horse jumping in Europe. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the fifth day, which is the last day of the royal cremation ceremony of the late His Majesty King Pumipon Adunyadet. This is the last procession, which um, is the, to transfer the royal urn containing the royal ashes of the late His Majesty King Pumipon to Rajabopit Temple and to the Bawani Wed Bihan Temple earlier and also that you see how tides whether they are young or they are in the old age our hearts are here as um I mentioned earlier about the we believe that um, our king is the other name is Rama and um, among the trinity of uh, Hindu gods Brahma, Shiva and Vishnu ties respect Vishnu as God who has the most authority the greatest in status and the name Rama for Thai kings that we call our king means that they are Vishnu incarnate since Rama was an avatar of Vishnu Hindu gods live on the top of Mount Meru. Earlier that you may see the royal crematorium that was built followed this belief which carried on from Thai history and also in the tradition. Lieutenant Colonel Her Royal Highness Princess Sri Wanwari Nari Rat as the squadron commanding officer of the 29th Cavalry Squadron Royal Horse Guard.
royal motorcade of His Majesty the King has now arrived at Rajabhopit Sthit Mahasiva Ram Temple or Wat Rajabhopit in short. His Majesty the King and Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Sarinthorn present the golden metallic bowl containing the royal ashes to Japanakan Pusamala court officials to convey the the bowl to the ordination hall or Praubosot of the temple and to place the royal ashes at the table besides the Buddhist throne or the base of the principal Buddha image or Praputta Anki Rot, which is the principal Buddha image of the temple's ordination hall. In the meantime, His Majesty the King proceeds to the royal monument of King Rama V to lay floral offerings to pay respect to King Rama V. This is a part of the the process, the last process at um, Wat Rajabhopit Satit Mahasima Ram, known in short as Wat Rajabhopit, is a royal temple of the first grade. It was built in 1869 at the command of King Jolongkorn or King Rama V to have um, the, um, the place to enshrine the relics and ashes of the royals. The temple features a blend of traditional Thai architecture and a Western style interior, which is probably the only of its kind in Thailand. The King Rama VII restored his temple instead of building a new one as a temple commemorating his reign. But Rajabhapit is recognized as the temple of two reigns, fifth reign and the seventh reign. After having presented floral offerings to pay respect to King Rama V, His Majesty the King lighted incense and candles of the Krung Tong Noi set of royal offerings to pay homage to King Rama V. Then His Majesty enters the ordination hall, followed by Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Srinthorn and members of the royal family. Here's the interior of the ordination hall with the Prabhuta Anki Rot, the principal Buddha image, being placed at the back of the ordination hall. Under the base of that principal Buddha image is the area where a space is designated for the enshrinement of the royal relics of His Majesty the late King Rama the Ninth. The space designated is called in Thai as Stone Cave or Tamsila. Officials are paying respect in the Thai traditional way to the royal ashes of His Majesty, the late King Rama IX. Paputta Anki Rod is the presiding Buddha image in this temple, you may see, and the royal ashes of King Prashatipok and Queen Rampai Pani of the Seventh Reign are also enshrined under the base of this Buddha image. In the temple, there are eight stone pillars, each surmounted with a covering of the Buddha's wheel of law or Tamajak, one of each of the eight directions, hence the name Mahasimara or Great Boundary Pillars. The ordination hall has curving walls that are covered with beautiful glazed colored tiles. The doors to the ordination hall of Praubosot and Prawihan are inlaid with Mother of Pearl, the work of master craftsmen. His Majesty the King receives salutation from participants in the ordination hall and takes his royal seat. Thirty venerable monks will chant verses for the deceased known as Matika. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
Thirty venerable monks chanted verses for the deceased, known as Matika. Officials are now laying the ceremonial cloth runner or prapusayong. Early on, His Majesty the King lighted candles and incense of the Krung Tong Noi set of royal offerings to pay respect to Praputta Angkirot, the principal Buddha image of the ordination hall, and to the royal ashes of King Prachatipok or King Rama the seventh, the royal ashes of Queen Rampai Panni of the seventh reign, and the royal ashes of His Majesty, the late King Pumipon Adunyade. His Majesty is now presenting the royal offerings of seven robes of Patrai to the monks by placing them on the Prabhu Sayong. The monks will then acknowledge this act of merit-making with the royal offerings of seven robes by deliberating on the offered items and the meritorious intent of the monarch in disseminating the good deeds thus made to the royal deceased. The monks at the same time will chant a short prayer for the deceased known as Sadapakon. Sitting on the right hand side, this is the Supreme Patriot, Sambit Pa'ariya Wongsa Katayan, as well as other venerable monks. Prapomuni, Parashamongkhon, Dilok, Parashasumonmuni, as well as other members of the senior monks from various temples. Inside Wat Rajabopit, also other members of the royal families, Prime Minister, Members of the Privy Council, Yeah. 
จะตั้งทีวตุอดิเรกวัจจะตั้งทีวตุอดิเรกวัจจะตั้งทีวตุทีขายุโกหตุอโรโกหตุทีขายุโกหตุอโรโกหตุสุกิโตหตุตรามินดมหาราชาสิทธิกิจจังสิทธิกรรมังสิทธิลาโภชโยนิจังมหาวชิรารังกรณราชวรสสะภวตุสัพบดาขอถวายพระพรภวตุสัพพมังคารังราคันตุสัพเทวตาสัพพุเธอที่เป็นรูปมังสกีบเบลซิงตัวที่พูดว่าเทนอดีรีลิจิสเซอร์มานีอ๋ออนุโมทนาแอนชานสเปเชียลเบลซิงฟอร์ฮิสแมจ
to convey the golden bowl, one of the golden bowls containing the royal ashes of His Majesty, the late King Rama IX, to the area at the base of the principal Buddha image of the ordination hall, Praputta Anki Road. Praputta Anki Road is located uh, within this hall and um, is pre the presiding Buddha image in the temple and the royal ashes of King Prashatipok and Queen Rampaipani of the seventh reign are also enshrined under the base of this Buddha image. Apart from the royal um, ashes, there are also the royal relics of some of the family of the royal family of Jagri dynasty have been kept here as well. His Majesty the King is approaching the principal Buddha image, Kaputa Anki Road. His Majesty the King conveyed the royal ashes into the designated space constructed under the principal Buddha image for the enshrinement of the royal ashes, called in Thai as Tamsila, literally translated as a stone cave. He then closed the cave with a lid, and the officials beat bronze drums, Siamid O horn, trumpets, conch shells, and flutes. Uh, blown together with the striking of victory drums, the playing of the royal anthem by the military band and the guards of honor paying salutation. The royal ashes of the late His Majesty King Pumipot Adunyadet is has been placed on the left hand side next to the royal ashes of the King Rama the Seventh. Here at um Rajwa Pit Satit Maha Simaram Temple. His Majesty the King pay respect to the principal Buddha image, Prabhuta Anki Rod. received gifts from the Supreme Patrick of Thailand. Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Srinthorn and Her Royal Highness Princess Bonrat Receive gifts from the Supreme Patrick of Thailand.
Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the last day of the royal cremation ceremony and now down the royal ashes of the late His Majesty King Komipon is being kept here at the Rajabopit Satip Mahasimaram Temple where the Supreme Patriot of Thailand is also an abbot. However, the royal ashes of the late His Majesty, the late King Pumipon, will be taken to his temple, which is Bawani Vedvihan Temple, where he ordained as a monk for 15 days. His Majesty the King instructed the Chapanakan Pusamala court official to convey another gold bowl containing the royal ashes of His Majesty the late King Pumipon Adunyade to the royal motorcade. His Majesty the King, accompanied by Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Srinthorn and other members of the royal family, will travel by the royal motorcade and will join up with the sixth procession of honor to convey the royal ashes from Rajapopit Temple to Popor Nived Vihan Temple. After the late His Majesty King Pumipon passed away in October 13 last year. This has been over a year. However, this area has been a place where most Thais would want it to come near as the royal urn of the late His Majesty King Pumipon was kept at the Sid Mahaprasad throne hall. So at least 12 million people went to the Sid Mahaprasad throne hall to pay respect to the late king. And during the October 26, which was the, the date of the cremation, 19 million, more than 19 million people place the sandwich with flowers and in Thailand we have about 66 million people not to mention Thais abroad now back inside the back here in the temple of Rajabal Pitsatit Mahasima Ram, also members of the Privy Council, members of the royal families, representative of their senior government officers, but outside, along the ways of the processions and the surroundings of the areas, are highs and some are have been here and stay overnight await to witness the last day in a moment the Procession of Honor, the sixth one, will continue its route, leaving the Rajapopit Temple, traveling along the road to turn right at Asadang Road, turning left at the bridge by the rice mill, and travels along Kalayanamaitri Road. The procession will then turn right into Sanam Chai Road and travel along Rajadamnan Nai Road passing the 
democracy monument that you have seen early on in this live telecast, crossing the Pan Pipoplila Bridge and continues along the Rajadamnen Klang Road. He will then turn left into Prasumen Road and stop in front of Pawan Nived Vihan Temple. There are some of his thoughts that he taught us, and I would like to share with you here that he say in the royal speech. Without honesty and determination, one becomes careless and will never create anything useful to society. Only honest and determined person can perform the important and useful task successfully. This was His Majesty, the late King Royal Speech at Jilong Kwan University graduation ceremony in 1979. Some of the thought, what he has taught us, will always remain Second golden bowl containing the royal relic, royal ashes, for His Majesty the King. Second bowl containing the royal ashes of His Majesty the late King Rama the Ninth is now in the royal car of His Majesty King Mahawachalalungkorn Badin Tarate Payawarangkun on the way to the second destination, which is Bobon Nived Mihan Temple. Lieutenant Colonel Her Royal Highness Princess Sri Wanwari Nari Rat as the commanding officer of the 29th Cavalry Squadron Royal Horse Guard has been adopting the Royal Guard's format of troop formation, such as the adjustment of the procession formation, the riding posture in controlling the horses during the procession. She inspected the troops prior to the operation to ensure the readiness and unity of the procession. Her Royal Highness instructed that all facilities be provided for the troops and the training and to organize the squadron stable to the international standards. Yeah, I would like to share with you another
Sixth Procession of Honor has arrived at p a w a n i w e t v i h a n Temple. จากพนักงานภูสามาลา court officials convey the golden bowl containing the royal ashes of His Majesty the late King p u m i p o n a d u n y a d e t to the table beside the the base of the principal Buddha image, p r a p u t t a s c h i n a s i the principal Buddha image of the ordination hall. His Majesty the King, accompanied by Her Royal Highness Princess m a j a k r i s r i n t o n and members of the royal family, follow into the ordination hall. This is inside Wat b a w a n i w e t Vihan Temple, which is um, also known in short as Wat b a w a n i w e t or Wat b a m o n is a royal temple of the first grade. Built in the third reign, it is an important center for um, Buddhism, and several former abbots here went on to become the supreme prelate of Thailand. And the previous supreme prelate of Thailand also formed b a w a n w i w e n Vihan Temple and also was the mentor of um, the late His Majesty King p u m i p o n a d u n y a d e t when he ordained as a monk. His Majesty the King lights candles and incense to pay homage to p r a p u t t a c h i n a s i the principal Buddha image of the ordination hall. w a t p a w a n i w e t has a long and interesting history, beginning with the arrival of the first abbot, Prince m o n g k u t in 1836. The Prince b i k u Also known by his monastic name, p r a w i c h a r a y a n a y o was ordained for 27 years before ascending the throne as King Rama IV.
30 venerable monks have chanted verses for the disease known as Matika. The officials are now laying the ceremonial cloth runner or Prabhu Sayong. King Mungkut or King Rama IV was ordained here under the name of Prabhuvajrayanayo for a period of 27 years and as abbot of the temple for 14 years before ascending the throne as King Rama IV before the arrival of the Prince Abbot. The area presently occupied by Wat Bawan Niwet was actually two different monasteries separated by a canal, Wat Mai and Wat Rangsi Suttawat. As Wat Mai was abbotless, King Rama III requested the Prince Bhikkhu to take over as abbot in 1836. Later, during the reign of King Rama VI, the two monasteries were incorporated into one, resulting in the temple's present dimensions. His Majesty the King is now presenting saffron robes of Hadrai to the monks. Here within the compound of the Bawaniwet Bihan Temple, the royal temple and temples of um, His Majesty the late King Bumipun Adunjadet. I would like to share with you some of the royal speech that um, the late His Majesty King Pumipon has left and also has taught us. Here is one. He said, the justification is a part of integrity before performing any speeches or acts. 
one should think over to concentrate and it brighten one's mind. Through repeated trainings, one can do it effortlessly and therefore express knowledge and thoughts explicitly according to the theory and intricacy in these regards. Oh, 
30 venerable monks has given blessing to the people who attend the religious ceremony and chanted special blessing for His Majesty the King. This is within the ordination hall of Wat Bawan Nived Vihan. Prabhupada is the principal Buddha image, which is from the Sukhothai period. Also to be found inside the hall are the distinctive and unique murals painted by well-known Thai painter during King Mongkut's time. Court official is paying respect in Thai traditional way to His Majesty the King. His Majesty gives the royal directive for the Japanagan Pusamala court official to convey the golden bowl containing the royal ashes of His Majesty the late King Rama the Ninth to the base of the Prabhupada principal Buddha image. At the base of the principal Buddha image, a designated space has been arranged for the enshrinement of the royal ashes. This is called the Sitamsila in Thai or stone cave. This is the last day for the altogether five days of royal cremation ceremony of the late His Majesty King Pumipon Adunyadev, who reigned the Kingdom of Thailand for 70 years. When he went to the throne, his Majesty, the late King said, we shall reign with righteousness for the benefits and happiness of the Siamese people. And many of us witnessed that of all these years, His Majesty, the late King Pumipon has done tremendously for his subjects, his people. He has written the history of Thailand beautifully. He has left Thai people, his legacy, altogether over 4,000 projects.
the royal ashes of His Majesty the late King Bhumibol a d u n y a d e t have now been enshrined at the base of the p r a p u t a j i n a s i Principal Buddha image of the Ordination Hall of Wat p a w a n i w e t Vihar. His Majesty the King lays his royal wreath and Her Majesty Queen s i r k i t of the Ninth Reign's royal wreath in front of the area of enshrinement of the royal ashes. He lights incense and candles of the k r u n g t o n g n o i set of royal offerings to pay homage to His Majesty the late King Rama the Ninth. For Thais, from bottom of our hearts. People from the bottom of our heart, we feel that His Majesty the late King p u m i p o n is our heart, is our soul, is our Father, who show us His love unconditionally. He is our everything. This five day of the royal cremation ceremony of His Majesty the late King p u m i p o n Has shown the world our love to our beloved King, his legacy remains in all of us. Everywhere we go, we see his footpaths. The most important thing, as the Supreme Patriot mentioned, that we follow. His guidance of His Majesty the late King p u m i p o n that we have to practice the philosophy, the guidance that He has shown us. I would also like to share with you, among many talents of His Majesty, the late King p u m i p o n is. Literature and music. In his music called Dream Island, the relics that he wrote himself said, "In a dream, I am on a desert island, waiting for you, hoping you not forgotten. How happy I would be to see you near, and how sorry if you don't appear." Like old times, we listen to the sea, which is like music, leading to ecstasy. Though knowing it is no use to be blue, I keep dreaming it may well come true. And that has been the enshrinement ceremony of the royal ashes. Of His Majesty the late King p u m i p u n Adunyade, His Majesty the King is now paying respect to the principal Buddha image. He is receiving a gift. From the abbot of Wat b a w a n i w e t Vihar, s o m d e t p r a w a n a r a t
and this is the final day, the fifth day of the royal cremation ceremony of His Majesty the late King Pumipon Adunyadeh or King Rama the Ninth. Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakrisarin Thorn also receives a gift from the abbot of the temple. Wat Bawan Nived Vihan is a temple of the first grade built in the reign of King Rama III. It's an important center for the Dhammayutika sect. Located on the northeast side of Bangkok's Ratanakos in Island, just inside the old city wall bordering Banglampu Canal or Prasumen Road. The monastery's name comes from the Pali language, Pawara and Niwesa, and translate as the excellent abode monastery. Wat Bhavan Niwet Vihan Temple is in still in the area of Ratanakosin Island, which is the old Bangkok, not far from Sanam Luang ceremonial ground and um, the previous temple, which is Wat Rajabopit, where the royal ashes of His Majesty King Pumipon was also kept there. Now Her Royal Highness Princess Sirabanwari Narirat is receiving a gift from the abbot of Bawani Webihan Temple, Sumdet Pavanarat. There have been five former abbots here, three of whom were supreme patriarchs. And the abbots after King Mungkut were Sumdet. Followed by Sumnet Pramaha Sumanajao Krumpaya Vacharayan Waro Rod Sumnet Prasankarajao Krumalung Vacharayan Wung and Prapum Muni. Just a few feet away from the Tipataka Hall. Feet from here is the typical Taka Hall. The murals found inside this hall are beautiful and the ornate cornices command attention there. Many palm leaf scriptures are stored there in beautiful old Tipataka cases. His Majesty King Pumipon Adinadet is one who's we call Putamamaka, who supported Buddhism. One of his guidance say that doing good usually contradicts human satisfaction and need. That's why it's difficult to do and takes time to see the results. But doing good is still a necessity. Otherwise, bad deeds that are easier to act will replace and accumulate without us knowing. He has left us his guidance, his legacy that ties will continue to follow throughout our life. In an excerpt from the real right speed given to privy councillors and their spouses, at Sirirat Hospital in Bangkok in 2010, His Majesty said people who have more than others should help or share with them appropriately, but without causing hardship for themselves. As for those who are in need, they should not simply wait for aid or think that there is nothing they can do. If all of us help one another in such a way, the nation will find peace and contentment. Now His Majesty King Mahavashalongkorn and members of the royal family is departing the hall of Bawaniwet Vihan Temple.
<coughs> and that was the enshrinement ceremony of the royal ashes of His Majesty the late King Bhumipun Adunyade, which is the final part of the royal cremation ceremony of His Majesty the late King Rama the Ninth, that has been held between the 25th and the 29th of October 2017. His Majesty the late King has been respected as the nation's great monarch over the 70 years of his reign. He has sacrificed himself to work and carry out activities with the objective of providing benefits to his subjects and the country. His accomplishments had truly earned him genuine respect and wide acclaim from all sectors of the kingdom and the global community. The success of His Majesty's reign is clear for all to see. All ties humbly pay their last respect to their king, whose benevolence and dedication to work for the benefits of the country throughout the seven decades of his reign were deeply appreciated. His Majesty will always remain in the heart of the people and be remembered as their beloved father, who was their guiding light, helping them through hardships and difficulties with his immense kindness and working untiringly for the betterment of their quality of life and the progress of the country. As the whole nation is glued in front of the television to bid farewell to the late His Majesty King Pumipun Adunjadet, who is our father, our heart, and our soul, our everything. And will always be our beloved King. You've been watching the live telecast by the television pool of Thailand of the five days of the royal cremation ceremony of His Majesty King Pumipun Adunyade. Thais feel that we like to honor our beloved the late King Pumipun Adunyadeh, who devoted his life, dedicated his time for the betterment of his subjects, of ordinary people. And this is the saddest moment nation where our hearts become one what you are witnessing will be writing the history of the kingdom of Thailand and the royal cremation ceremony has shown to the world how much we love how much we respect our late King Pumipun Adunyade. Since the beginning of his reign, His Majesty, the late King Pumipun Adunyade, sought to better the quality of life of all of his subjects, noting my objective was to improve people's lives without destroying their equilibrium, their traditional values, and their identity. To this end, he traveled ceaselessly to the far corners of the kingdom, accompanied by Her Majesty Queen Surikit of the Ninth Reign and their children, to gain a first-hand understanding of the local geographical and social conditions and to interact directly with his people. The king held a special place in the hearts of the Thai people for his devotion to the welfare of his people, offering an understanding of social and political issues that affected the country. The king provided a solid base for the country in times of social turmoil. Despite being a constitutional monarch, the king made several interventions to stop conflicts and help Thailand usher a smooth transition to democracy. He is highly regarded by his subjects as the father of Thai people and father of the Thai Kingdom.
based upon his academic background, his extensive knowledge of the Western world, and with His Majesty's strong sense of being Buddhist and a Thai monarch, brought him to fully adopt the ancient ten principles of kingship, in which care and kindness for the people and fairness in governing the people are two hard and fast principles. His Majesty's practice of the ten principles had served as basis for His Majesty's seriousness in finding out ways and means for helping the people to come out of poverty and occupational hardship. Now the members of the royal family is departing Bawani Vedvihan Temple, where the royal ashes of the late His Majesty King Pumipun Adunyadeh is being kept. And this, you have been watching the last part of the royal cremation ceremony of the late His Majesty King Pumipun Adunyadeh. I am Rung Kip Chonapalai. I am Captain Dr. Yung Yut Maya Lab. We would like to thank you on behalf of the Television Pool of Thailand for watching this live telecast of the Royal Cremation of His Majesty, the late King Pumipun Adunyadeh from Bangkok, Thailand. Thank you and goodbye. Sawadee Sawadee ka.